Hey, what's up you guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use a HELOC to pay off your mortgage. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Sam Kwok, one of the Kwok Brothers, real estate investor, entrepreneur. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use a HELOC to pay off your mortgage. Now, chances are you already have a home, you bought a home and you have a mortgage, or you're looking to buy a home with a mortgage and you're just looking to pay that sucker off, whether you want to retire faster, you wanna create more cash flow, or you just wanna have the pride of ownership knowing that you don't owe a darn thing. Now, before we get into it, be sure you go ahead and click the like button on this video because it does help us a lot with our YouTube algorithm. We can get this video out to more people, which means that we can help more people pay their mortgage off. All right, let's dive right into it. Now, if you don't, if you guys don't know what a HELOC is, I want to quickly recap and quickly summarize what exactly is a HELOC. A HELOC is, is actually an acronym for Home Equity Line of Credit. And the easy, easiest way for me to explain a home equity line of credit, it's kind of like a credit card that's attached to the equity of your home, which if you guys don't know what an equity is, equity is basically your home value, what's, what the fair market value is, minus anything that you owe on that property. So we're going to basically take an equity. Uh, let's say we have $100,000 equity in your given home, and essentially it turns that $100,000 into a quote-unquote credit card that you can go and use uh, to do wonderful things. Now, one thing that I do advise, like many people may may tell you, is don't go out there and use home equity line of credit for you know to buy a new boat or to go buy a vacation home or a new car. None of those should be uh, a subject matter when it comes to how we use our home equity line of credit. But I do believe that if you use the home equity line of credit wisely in an educated fashion, you can do many great things such as paying off your mortgage or going out there to buy income producing assets such as a rental property. The difference between a HELOC versus a mortgage and why I prefer a HELOC, you'll get to know by the end of this video. But what I love about HELOC is it's open ended. So what that basically means, guys, is you can go in and pay back, reuse, pay back and reuse, just like a credit card. Another thing why I love a HELOC is it uses a simple interest calculation, whereas on a mortgage, it uses amortized. Now, this all depends on how you use a HELOC because in HELOC, if you don't use it the right way, it could very much have pretty much a similar effect as to a mortgage. But if you if you guys use it the way that I show you, show you guys today, you guys probably won't have much of an issue. So it does use a simple interest. Basically what that means is because a home equity line of credit is open-ended, meaning it can be paid back, reused, paid back, reused, Obviously, there's going to be a lot more of transactions that, of going back and forth. So the banks use what's called average daily interest calculation. And what that basically is, guys, it takes your interest percentage, okay, divided by 365 days, which is how many, you know, the days of the year, times the balance of that specific day. So a mortgage is more likely, if you're not doing extra payments, if you're not doing any other thing with your mortgage, you're just making a scheduled payment every month on your mortgage. Basically, it takes the balance of that month and it calculates the interest for that month, and then obviously that gets applied uh, as your interest payment. Whereas on a HELOC, it takes account for every single day instead of every single month. Now again, I, just like what I said earlier, if you treat your HELOC almost as if it's a mortgage, it's gonna have a similar effect to that. So balance of that day. So if today, let's say we have $10,000 balance on our HELOC and uh, tomorrow we have $9,500 balance in the HELOC, we're gonna, be, we're gonna be charged with two very different amounts of interest today versus tomorrow because obviously we have different balances for today and tomorrow. To sort of recap, HELOC, open-ended and it uses simple interest, whereas on a mortgage, it's closed-ended, meaning you can only pay the mortgage and you can, you can never take that money back, back out unless you refinance, of course. And it uses amortized interest, which takes a month's worth of balance and uses that as a calculation. And a lot of times, mortgages come, of course, with amortization schedule, which means that you have a 30-year amortization, 15-year amortization, you have that time period until you hit zero on that mortgage. So here's why I love using a HELOC to pay off your mortgage. And there's a couple ways to do this, and I'm, I'm just gonna give you two versions of the strategy 
At the end of this video, I'll also give you guys a free Excel sheet calculator so that you guys can use to basically determine how much money and time you can save using a HELOC to pay off your mortgage. So ideally what you wanna do is, and this is the first version of the strategy, it's called the chunking strategy. Traditionally, you guys have been putting your income into a checking account, right? And I'm gonna change the color in this so that we make it a little bit more interesting. And traditionally, what you guys have been doing is you've been taking your checking account and making your monthly payment on your mortgage. Well, in this strategy, using a HELOC, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna establish a HELOC. Let's make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Home equity line of credit. And let's say we have a $50,000 limit. Because remember guys, not all $50,000 can be, it, it could be used, but you don't have to, right? It's a, uh, it works very similar to a credit card. And let's say with your mortgage, you have a $250,000 balance. So what we're gonna do, and ideally, uh, in real life situations, this is something that I don't uh, suggest, but let's say we, in, we take the entire $50,000 that we have on our HELOC, Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and make a principal payment against the mortgage. Okay, so what that does, guys, I'm gonna change color. It, it brings the mortgage balance down to $200,000. And then now we have a balance of $50,000. Now, of course, like I you know, told you guys earlier, I don't suggest that you guys max out the HELOC for many various reasons. Uh, but just for illustration's sake, stick with me here. So what we have done is, when we do a $50,000 principal payment against the mortgage using our HELOC, we have reduced the amount of interest that we are owed on your mortgage. And obviously you guys can go and calculate this on your own, and you guys can also download the calculator that I'm gonna give you guys at the end of this video to, to figure out why this actually saves you money. And no, we don't have, we didn't incur more debt. We have the same ex exact amount of debt, right? 200,000, 50,000, we didn't have more debt. And another misconception is that, well now Sam, we have two monthly payments. We got the mortgage payment and we got the HELOC payment. Well, here's how we get rid of that. And, and in reality, in this strategy, you only have one payment. Instead of putting your money into your checking account, okay? and paying your mortgage directly out of the checking account, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put all of our income into the HELOC. Now, the reason why we do this, and going back to the whole simple interest uh, calculation, is we want to drive down the balance on the HELOC as much as we can, right? We wanna get that thing low, super, super low. Let's say our income is $5,000, for example. Okay, we're gonna go and put all $5,000 into the HELOC such so that we can go, go and lower the balance on the home equity line of credit. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking, well, hold on, if we put all of our money into the home equity line of credit, how do we spend our money? How do we take care of our expenses? How do we take care of our bill? Yada, yada, yada. Well, I get that, guys. So what happens is, using your HELOC, you're gonna go ahead and be able to pay your bills, right, gas, groceries, and in most cases also, if you find the right banks, the banks will also uh, have a account number as well as routing number for the HELOC. So you can do ACH transactions right out of the HELOC, meaning you can pay bills and groceries. You can also have your uh, paycheck auto deposited into the HELOC without having to move money around. So it makes things a lot easier if you do it that way. Now, the reason why we use a HELOC, remember, going back to the whole average daily balance, we wanna lower the average daily balance as if we took the whole $5,000 and made that payment on, against the mortgage, which we did it, we were using the HELOC. But we can also use the same amount of income that we have, the same HELOC, to be able to buy groceries and take care of our bills. So what we've done, ideally, what we've done is we've lowered the average daily balance, and while we're not using the money, because obviously we're not gonna take all the, we're not gonna go in and deposit our check into the HELOC, and then the next day we're gonna use it all right away. It's not gonna happen, it's not realistic. But while we're waiting for, for us to spend money on bills and gas and groceries, it's saving us money because the HELOC reflects a lower balance while we, while we wait for us to use that money. Now, here's a better version of the strategy which I'm a even more bigger fan of. This is actually my personal uh, favorite of the strategy, mainly because it pays us money and uh, at the same time, it saves the most amount of interest in terms of using our strategy. So just like what I've explained to you guys earlier, we're gonna go and take our income, okay? We're gonna put it on our HELOC, 
okay? I don't draw the best, best circles, but I'll do what I can. And instead of using the HELOC to pay for expenses directly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and employ a credit card, okay? And some of you guys may know this, some of you guys may, may not, but cre with credit cards, whenever you guys go and swipe that thing to go and buy something, typically most credit card companies are gonna give you anywhere between 21 to 30 days of an interest-free grace period. So let's say I went and bought this pen, pen today and swiped my credit card. I have 30 days until the interest kicks in. So for the next 30 days, I don't pay any interest on the purchase of this pen. So you can handle your bills, groceries, and I know that not all bills and groceries can be paid using your credit card. I'm aware of that, but try to get everything on your credit card as much as possible. So your groceries, right? Diapers, my goodness, those are expensive, right? Every, so pretty much all of your bills and expenses are going to go on your credit card. Keep in mind, guys, for the next 21 to 30 days, all the, all the expenditures and, and uh, spendings are subject to interest-free until, of course, the next uh, statement cycle. So you get 0% interest here for 21 days, 21 to 30 days. And ideally, guys, what you want to do is work with a credit card that gives you points. And why you want points is obviously you spend money, you want to earn points, and those points could mean travel. You can go to vacation. You can, uh, when you go uh, book a hotel, you can use points. And obviously, it'll be out of, you know, you, you don't have to pay out of pocket. I love my points. Uh, I have an American Express card, but some of you guys may already know, but I use my points to buy stuff on Amazon virtually for free. And all I have to do is use my credit card to do all my expenditures. Now, here's where the fun part is. At the very, pre preferably at the very last day of the month or at the last day of the 30-day uh, interest-free cycle, this is where you're gonna go and take your HELOC and completely wipe out the balance on your credit back to zero. That way you're, you're not subject to any interest on the credit card spendings that you've done. And you're moving the balance back over to your credit card. So what typically happens is, let's say this is the first day of the month, and you got your 31st day of the month, sometimes I know it's 30 days, 30th day. What you wanna do, guys, is you wanna keep the HELOC balance as low as possible between the first day of the month and the 31st day of the month. So ideally, what, what is suggested, at least from here with us, the Quack Brothers, is you want to take all of your income, your savings, your money, whatever comes into your income, put it into your HELOC on the first day of the month. And you're going to go and use your credit card, do your spendings and expenditures. And of course, at the very last day of the month, this is where you're going to go and actually uh, incur a balance uh, increase on your HELOC. So between the first day of the month and the 31st day of the month, what happened is you have, you're keeping that balance, the average daily balance on your home equity line of credit, super duper low with pretty much all your income, but your credit card sort of acted as a waiting room for your expenses to kick in. And then on the 30th day of the month, obviously your balance goes back up a little bit, but we know immediately the, right, the next day, which is back to the first of the next month, we have income going in there to, also, to further drive the balance down on the HELOC super duper low. What this does, guys, again, is when, when the balance is down, interest is also down. And the less we owe on interest, this tends to speed up our paying off process on our mortgage. Typically, you can expect to pay off your mortgage within five to seven years on average. And of course, guys, this is an average number. Not everyone will be able to pay off their mortgage within five to seven years. I see a lot of people that pay off their mortgage, mortgage in 10 years. A lot of people pay off their mortgage in five years. It all depends. So um, ideally, what you want to do is use the HELOC. Lower that average daily balance down by putting all of your income in there, which we know that you can, again, reuse that money out. We can take that money back out because it's an open-ended revolving line of credit. And then we use a credit card to sort of have all of our expenses sit there for, for the, the 21 to 30-day cycle when uh, we're not charging the interest. And then use the HELOC to wipe out the credit card balance so that we pretty much didn't owe any interest on the, uh, the expenses that we have to take care of every single month. Guys, like I promised, uh, I'm gonna go and give you that free calculator as well as an ebook that's gonna give you a full breakdown explanation as to how our strategy works. So where you go, guys, is you can go to chopmymortgage.com 
and go and download the free calculator for you guys. It's absolutely free. You can go and punch in your numbers. So you can go and put in your original balance of the mortgage, your current balance, your interest rate on the mortgage, and then you can enter the information as far as how much of a HELOC are you gonna use and what your HELOC interest rate's going to be. And it's gonna spit out an estimate as to how soon you can, you can pay off your mortgage and how much interest you can save on your mortgage. I know a lot of you guys may still be thinking, well, the HELOC interest rate's higher, like why do we wanna do that? Uh, well, like the HELOC interest rates can, can go up, it could be variable. Well, let me quickly explain to you guys right now before you guys go and exit out of this video, is that with the HELOC interest rate, it really won't matter within the context of this strategy because our focus is in paying off your principal balance. When we lower the principal balance, we're not gonna be subject to as much of an interest because of course, without principal, you won't be charged any interest, right? Another thing is that with the HELOC being variable, uh, some HELOCs can be locked into becoming a fixed rate HELOC. And of course, I don't want to get into too much of the detail, but what you can do is you can lock in the rate for a very small fee, anywhere between 60 to 100 bucks to lock in the interest rate, if that's something that you're worried about. So guys, I hope that this video helped you guys at least understand how to use a HELOC to pay off your mortgage. If you guys felt like I missed anything, go and comment down below. We'd love to have a quick chat with you. And again, please do click on like on this video as we can get this video out to as many people as possible. And if you thought that this was helpful and you have somewhat of a direction and clarity, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we have way too many video on HELOCs and how to use a HELOC to pay off your mortgage. So go ahead and definitely check out some other videos that we have about using the HELOC to pay off your mortgage. I'll see you guys in the next video.